welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby J M U A. If you don't know me already, I'm a little new here. Nice to meet you. I have this really pretty gold and purple look. So I went into Z Gallery and I saw this little like dining room setup and it had like gold and purple and I don't see that every day like gold and purple looks so freaking amazing and gorgeous together I don't know why more people don't gravitate towards that I know I do uh, so that kind of inspired this look right here it's very gold it's very purple obviously before we get into the video make sure you subscribe to my channel I want to put out new videos every couple days whatever you guys want just leave it in the comment down below make sure you ring the bell to be notified for future videos if you guys like me if you guys like my videos and tutorials especially just leave a like down below and that'll kind of tell me if you guys like me doing tutorials or not so just do that and yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. So I'm just gonna start by putting on a little headband. I got this cutie from Claire's. Meow. I'm going to use Pacifica's Kale Luxe Oil Free Multi Cream to hydrate, control oils, and address texture. This has kale and lime pearls and superpower vitamins. This is for blemish prone skin. It's a very gel based moisturizer so it's going to sink into the skin. It feels really nice. When I was younger, and I didn't know much about skincare. I absolutely hated putting, putting on moisturizers because my skin was so oily already. But this, it doesn't make my skin feel greasy. Like it just sinks in and it dries like so fast and I really like it. So I'm done with that. I actually went in beforehand and sprayed my face with Mario Badesco's rose water. So I did that. And yeah, let's get into primers. So I'm using Benefits Professionals. This is a little travel size that I got in my Sephora play box. I'm just squeezing a little pea size amount. You don't need that much with this product. I feel like if you use too much, it's silicone based, so it will like ball up. If you use just like a pea size amount just for your pores, it works amazingly okay well good prep and primed i'm going in with becca's shimmering skin perfector and i'm going to put this all over my ba um, face to kind of act as a primer a little bit i'm just using this much put it all over the face so we can glue so I'm going for foundation. I'm using Urban Decay's All Nighter Waterproof Foundation. I'm blowing that all over my face with my Cream Shop sponge. I'm gonna blend it down the neck as well. Okay, so now that the foundation is on, we're looking a little crazy, a little whack without concealer, so we have to use concealer. I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Neutral. Y'all already know, full coverage is Fuji. Blow it on the chin and the tip of the nose. And we're just going to blend that out. Okay, so before the concealer sets into my lines, I'm going to use ELF's um, setting powder in Fair Light and Tarte's little Kabuki powder brush. I'm going to set that. 
under the eyes. Smooth out all of these lines so there's no creasing on your lid and then the rest of my face. Okay, face is set, the base is done. We are going to move on to bronzer. So I am using today Marc Jacobs bronzer. It is the Instamark bronzer. I got this for $20. So I'm going to just tap into this bronzer using my Tarte powder brush. I'm just going to dust it on the cheeks. Right underneath the cheekbones. On the forehead a little bit. So I'm going to take my little Wet n Wild, it's a, just like a crease brush, it's no, nothing super fancy, but it really helps with my contour. I'm going into the mis um, Instamark one more time, and I'm just going to contour my nose. I really like this brush for contouring my nose, because it really gets into the curves of my natural contour. I'm going under the nose as well. Ooh, that that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. I'm gonna take my blender and just pat it in. I'm taking Makeup Revolution's The Matte Blush in Nude and Real Techniques Contour Brush and I'm just going to lightly tap and bring some life into my lifeless face. Good and done. Oh, for highlight. Do I want to use? Do I want to use champagne pop or amethyst? Why not both? So I'm going to take champagne pop out of Jaclyn Hill's Becca palette, and I'm just going to put that right on the cheeks. I have a little blemish here, so I'm going to avoid that go right around it. A little bit above the bow, brow bone. I have a scar there. Ignore that. I may or may not have um, ran into a dresser. I was three. Don't judge me. But I did run into a dresser. Twice. Yep. Yeah, that's me. I'm that girl. Okay, so now that we have Champagne Pop on our cheeks, I'm going to go into Prismatic Amethyst by Becca with the same brush, just kind of mixing the two colors together. I'm gonna put that right on top of Champagne Pop. I can see clearly now the rain has come. I can see obstacles in my way. So now that the base is done, I'm going to go ahead and set my entire face using Cover FX um, Illuminating Setting Spray. Okay, so I actually did my eyebrows off of camera. I used the NYX Tame and Frame with the uh, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper Eyebrow Gel, and I used... Morphe's B74 brush for that. So I did that and let's get started on the eyes. 
This is the important part. So I'm actually going to go in with my Morphe 25B palette. And what brush do I want to use? Okay, so I'm going to get started using my Morphe 25B palette. And I'm going to go in with this shade and this shade. Mix those two together with my M441 brush. Pop it right on and above the crease. So I'm starting on the outer portion of the eye and working inward. I want this to be a little bit high just because it's a cut crease. I'm gonna blend that outwards. I could spend all day blending. <laughs> And then with the same brush, I'm going to go in with these two colors here, mix those together. And do the same thing, just a little bit lower. Blend that out using a very light hand. You don't want to go too heavy, it'll look really patchy if you do that. So I'm going a little bit lower as I go further into the eye. So I don't want it to be all the way up here because then it'll look blown out and really sloppy. So we want to go down and then up like an S shape. You see how I'm doing that? And just flick it out. So now I'm going to go in with my Tarte crease brush. This is the Unicorn from the Make Believe collection. I'm going to go in with this color right here. Dust off that. And I'm going to go right into the crease. Oh, that's pigmented. I think that looks good. I think I'm going to go in with my Morphe M506 and I'm going to take Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Open that up. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. I'm going to take Delectable right here. I'm just going to tap that off. As I pack on more and more color with each color, I kind of go a little bit lower onto the eye. So this is going like straight into the crease. I think that's purple enough. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M441 and I'm going to take this color right here, tap that off, and I'm just gonna kind of blend everything out. What it's doing right now, I don't really like. So I'm gonna go with my tart brush and I'm going to add the color back in
I don't want to lose this color after I added back in a transition again. I kind of lost that purple. So I'm just going back in and blending that back in to my eye. It's all a back and forth process with blending for me. Um, I'll just keep going back and forth and back and forth until I have everything done good. Okay, so for this um, specific step, I'm going to zoom you guys in really quick just so you guys can see how this step is done up close. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just a Wet n Wild flat concealer brush. Okay, so I usually start about right here and I work in small strokes. I like to go a little bit above my crease just so the cut actually shows. Always blend towards your eyelid. You don't want to blend upwards and mess up. Okay, so now that we're done with that, you want to keep your eyebrows raised because if you lower them, then it's just the concealer is going to get everywhere, so don't do that. I usually like to take my um, Naked 3 brush. I take this little blending side, and I'm going to go into my 25B palette. I'm going to use this shade right here. And I'm just going to set that. You always want to set the concealer before going on to the other eye just to make sure it does not crease on you. So I'm going to take my Morphe M506 with nothing else on it and I'm just going to soften the line here. Very light hand. Just like that. Okay, so I'm kind of getting Jessica Rabbit vibes. I like it. I like it a lot. I could just end it here. But I'm extra, so we're going to keep going. I'm going to get into the Marc Jacobs, the Night Owl. This is the Style Icon palette. I'm going to take this shade right here with my Tarte unicorn brush, the flat brush of the collection. And I'm going to put that... Oh, you know what? I'm going to spray it with my Mario Badesco rose water. And I'm just going to put that all over where we put the concealer. I'm just taking um, my Naked 3 brush, what we used to set the concealer, and I'm just dusting out the fallout that we had going on there. And it's looking, it's looking pretty good. I'm just adding a little bit extra because that's who I am. I'm going to use a different mirror for this. I'm 
we're just gonna follow this line that we've created kind of make like a cat eye I think we're good here I'm gonna do my eyeliner really quick and I'm gonna get back to y'all okay so I am back I got my liner on she's a little thick thicker than a snicker and I got my lashes on I used Velour's fluff and thick lashes in the style flary godmom I got these for ten dollars they're originally twenty six dollars again if you guys want to see how I got those go to my most recent video before this one I think I'm going to line my eyes a little bit more I'm gonna use Thrive Cosmetics uh, Infinity Waterproof Liner in the style Lauren. This is a waterproof black liner. I'm just gonna line my waterline with this. Okay, for my bottom lash line, I'm going to go into the Morphe 25B palette with a little smudge brush, brush from Real Techniques. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. And I'm just gonna smudge that under the entire lash line. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna dust this off a little bit. Same brush. I'm gonna dip into this color right here. Same brush. Smudge it a little bit higher, closer to the eye. Light strokes, very light hand. So I'm gonna take the pointed liner brush from Real Techniques and I'm gonna take this bottom shadow right here and smudge it as close to the lash line as possible. Only on the outer portion of the eye because we wanna keep the eye open and bright. For my brow bone, I'm going to take Becca's Prismatic Amethyst with this Ulta Beauty crease brush. It's just a little duo brush. Just dip that in and highlight the brow bone. Okay, so for lips, I am going to line them. I'm going to use Sephora's Rogue Gel Lip Liner in the shade The Nudist. And I'm just going to line my lips with that. I'm just filling in the entire lips. So over top of the lip liner, I'm going to use L'Oreal's lipstick in 760 Silverstone. This is a beautiful, cool tone purple lipstick. It's very metallic. I love it so much. I'm just gonna go over the Cupid's bow one more time with Becca's Prismatic Amethyst. Very last step, you guys, I'm setting the face one more time with Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. You wanna shake this up really good because of the pearls that are in the spray. not even getting me. Okay, there we go. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> I look cute. <laughs> Hello Gatsby, I'm coming for you. Hey Leo. Hi baby. E baby. Alright guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. It turned out so 
pretty. I love it with the gold and the headband and everything. I'm just dying. <sighs> I'm living for this look, guys. You have no idea. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, send me pictures if you decide to like recreate this look. Um, that would be so cool and make me so happy. You guys can tag me on Instagram at GabbyJMUA. Make sure if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I put out beauty videos, uh, story times, stuff like that. We already talked about it. Leave a like if you like this video and you want to see more. Um, also hit that bell if you want to be notified for future videos and be my friend. And if you guys want like any other tutorials, if you guys have any ideas or anything, just leave a comment down below and I will definitely take any recommendations. Uh, but yeah, this is it guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and yeah, always remember. Happy girls are the prettiest. Bye guys. My turn. Who got the power? And tell your friends too. Share. Ma Mama needs it. <laughs> Do it for the children. <laughs> Share me on Facebook. <laughs> are they playing with metal? It's like Bebe's kids down there. They are Bebe's kids. Like, I can't believe these kids playing with like a freaking pipe. That's how you get scars on your forehead. That's what happened to your brother. That's what happened to your brother. Like, we're any different from these kids. Do you not know how to unlock your cars? I have a little blemish here, so I'm going in. <laughs> I will make whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Practice in the mirror. Hey, guys. And if. This is Bretman Rock. He's my lock screen to remind me that haters ain't shit.